uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these other things. So if you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing two, you can see me typing here, sorry, server kicked me. Wasn't enough for our AMX, he was filthy. Report these two. He's not happy. Um, this is a weird video to be making after just making a WZ120 video. Um, I think the server went a bit haywire. The STB is also uh, AFK, and I had to come back, and it was like two minutes gone. I just did a WZ120 video, and I hadn't finished the grind uh, to the tier 10 during that time. And I wanted to let you know that I've upgraded this tank from a good tank, well worth grinding and a little bit OP, to a must-own tank right now in your garage. Now, this is purely and simply one of the best tier nines in the game. And I know a lot of people might find that crazy. This is a tier 10 game. I want you to watch this. I didn't have any choice. It is kind of a perfect storm, but I want you to watch how strong this tank is in this hull down position with just five degrees of gun depression. Now, one of the reasons I believe this tank was so overlooked, as many of you did mention in the comments of the last video, was because when it first launched, this thing had three degrees of gun depression. And that's, that's nigh on unplayable, okay? It's so hard to get anything done with five degrees, let alone three. But what it has now is good DPM and an incredibly strong armor profile for this kind of gameplay. I'm gonna show you this game here, the bits and pieces of this game that happened. Uh, if you want to join Patreon, there's a, you know, just, it's a basically a one-off monthly fee for just supporting the channel. Just a way to support the channel. That's all it is. If you don't want to join Patreon, no problems. But it's, I'm going to show you two games. One is this game, uh, where I'm obviously making a huge stand here with the AFK SCB in Spawn. Uh, and the other is... A massive game on canal there's no two ways about it it's an absolutely ginormous game for a tier 9 medium tank and what this tank really has shown me is that even in tier 10 matchups and both these games are tier 10 games this tank can really perform it is every bit good enough to be played at tier 10 and it's because of its ability to be such a tough tank to get rid of in the right spot, in the right situation, in the right kind of angle, that you can maintain some kind of team contribution at tier X. Look at this, like, I'm gonna end up with, I was AFK the first couple of minutes, right? Everyone lost their minds. Our STB has been AFK the whole time and is dead. And we're gonna end up top scoring on damage and having two and a half K blocked as well and it's all from this kind of one situation here where we're able to role play a traditional heavy tank and do three and a half k damage while two and a half k blocked hold the whole line despite having an afk and win the game wasn't enough the amex still carried on like a pork shop this game is the dream scenario you can see this canal and i am fairly solid on canal all the time it's like my favorite map in the game but in this situation i am the only medium tank in the game and there are no other light tanks as well so i'm just waiting to see if i get spotted i'm not spotted and i'm starting to feel like i might want to get across here and put shots in there are three tds on the enemy team so i've got to be careful and i've got to be cautious but this really is the other factor with this gun that is so frankly disconcerting when you are in situations where you are not just chain firing the gun is able to output high alpha and consistent high alpha when you're in a peak of boom situation where you're really not ever firing more than once every 10 seconds is way more important than say 300 alpha and the ability to fire every five seconds. It's just such a strange dynamic and it comes up whenever you're on a flank like this. It's really very, very odd. I'm not even spotted. And yeah, this is so rare, like that this would be the situation you're in. But when you're not spotted and you're able to output damage, that for most tanks would be the dream scenario. For this tank, it actually is better when compared to other tanks when you are getting spotted and having to reset your camo because that is when higher alpha is more important than higher DPM. 
All that being said, though, we have made every post a winner here. We're 2,200 damage already, and we have got stuck hard in on this flank. The 183 hasn't been spotted. I'm expecting him to be... You know where he's going to be. I'm expecting him to be on top of his little mountain here, sitting here, having a cup of tea. I'm going to look directly at it as we pop over the top. There she blows. Try and uh, get one into him. Let everyone know he's there and available. And we're not getting down off here. There's no need to. There's also an IS-8 that is conspicuously absent, uh, who is going to make a very, very uh, starring role kind of appearance. And this is where... This, oh, wow. He's going to try and get him over the top. There's the IS-8. Here he comes. We're going to track him. And we're going to track him. And we're going to track him. And we're going to track this guy to the point where he's probably not very happy with being tracked. Get him away. Make him fire. Go back. Track him again. Hit the adrenaline rush. Get him between me and the IS-8. Track him again. Just absolutely brutal. Such a good tank. Get under the gun. So all he's got is a very, very, very well armored turret. And now there's still a tank up, but we've absolutely cleansed this flank here. We have dominated it. And we're angling well. We're getting a bounce there out of the IS-8. Same tier heavy, but really it's a it's a heavier. We're looking for a shot. We're willing to take a hit here just to clear this guy. Only shot we get right there. Happy days. Now it's just a 1v2 with the IS-8. 5.3k already. We're going to drive past the IS-8, put him between two tanks. Our driver is obviously dead. We run tungsten shells. That's the other thing with this thing. If you're running tungsten, then you don't always want to use them at the same time. You can use the tungsten to prolong an extended DPM period, like you drop tungsten and then you drop adrenaline rush or vice versa. There you have it. 6,000 damage, tier 9 medium in a tier 10 game. It's just an absolute monster. And I absolutely recommend you to get this tank. Very tough grind at the start. Uh, I had a whole lot of times 10 and times 5s and times 4s. But once you get up to the top gun, then it's, it's absolute jam. It's a beautiful, beautiful drive. And something you probably should have in the stable. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, look after yourselves. Stay safe on the battlefield. We had a great stream today. Uh, we're playing on the NA servers on a Wednesday evening, NA time. That's going to be a regular. So drop by if you want. 6,200 damage. WZ120, please consider.